uh, training facility. Uh, went to jungle school uh, down in Panama there. Uh, learned booby traps and all kinds of cool jump jungle operations there. Uh, even did a very rare deployment to uh, Scotland where we stayed at Redford Barracks uh, in Edinburgh, Scotland. Uh, learned the, uh, the Brits way of, of doing things, uh, which is really cool. Uh, uh, trained really, really, really hard in, in everything. Uh, but I was young, I was you know, 18, 19, and 20 when I was there. And uh, uh, oddly enough, uh, although I had a really good reputation for being a good uh, field soldier, uh, train, this is in training, training environment, um, I wasn't a very good garrison soldier. Uh, used to get in a lot of fights and, and things like that and got a couple Article 15s and the uh, uh, strange thing is I was actually uh, originally discharged with a general discharge under honorable conditions. Uh, that never really sat well with me, so uh, when I got out of uh, the Army at Fort Drum, I uh, immediately set out the rest of my life to prove, get some kind of honor back. Uh, immediately became an EMT and a paramedic and did that for, worked in EMS, emergency room ambulance for about 10 years. But um, uh, fast forward, uh, uh, 10 years, I got out of the Ar Army in 91. 9-11 happened in 2001. And by that time, I was 30, 31 years old, fat, out of shape. Didn't think I could uh, really have anything to contribute to what I knew was about to become something really big. Um, so in 2003, I, I went and tried to uh, uh, get back in regular Army, and I was pretty much laughed out of the... Uh, out of the recruiting office. Uh, they said, uh, uh, you know, why don't you try the Army Reserves? So I did. Uh, I pretty much laughed out of that office and they said, why don't you try the National Guard? Uh, so I did. And uh, uh, they were willing to take me, but uh, at that time I weighed like 270 pounds. I was a big, big guy. I had to take the ASVAB test all over again. Uh, by this time, I'd been out of the Army for 13 years, so I went and took the ASVAB and uh, uh, aced it again the se second time. First time was when I was, you know, 17 years old. Uh, next time, I'm like 32, 33 taking it. And I said, you got to lose some weight. So I spent uh, uh, eight or nine months uh, just working really hard to lose a lot of weight, and road marching, doing PT and things like that. And, Got down about 245, and they said, all right, well, we'll let you in, contingent upon, you know, you continue to lose weight. So they signed me up, uh, and I was uh, actually, uh, by December 2003, I had enlisted uh, into the Texas Army National Guard, and I uh, uh, was pretty sure I'd end up in Iraq, but I, at the back of my mind, I never really thought it would happen. But... Uh, Sure enough, in uh, August of, of uh, actually May of, of, of 2004, we were stop lost, which was fine. I, you know, I, I uh, volunteered for that. Uh, and then August of 2004, of we were uh, activated and went to Fort, Bra uh, Fort Hood for a five to six month train up uh, where we were there. Uh, the entire 56 brigade combat team, it's about 4,500 of us, were at uh, Fort Hood just doing all kinds of training, which in hindsight had absolutely nothing to do with what we did in Iraq. Um, my MOS uh, from, day, from the time I joined the Army in 89 until this day uh, is 11 Bravo. It's never been anything but 11 Bravo. Um, but I enlisted in the National Guard to be a medic. I figured, you know, what, what can I do to contribute? I'm, I'm old, you know, I'm fat, what can I do? Uh, well, I was a pretty good paramedic. Uh, so I was supposed to be a medic. Uh, however, um, that didn't work out. So here I am, I'm in a tanker battalion, and uh, I'm not a tanker. Um, so the closest thing that they had to, for me to go to was the uh, mortar platoon and HHC uh, 
which is 11 Charlies, their infantry as well, uh, but I had no mortar training or anything like that. 